made it to Berlin. I don't know if you can, uh, Berlin, Hamburg. I don't know if you can tell, but it is raining a bit, so it's not the best weather to explore. But nevertheless, we've made it. Jeremy and Kieran are here with me as well, and we're on our way to the mini world, which you've heard good things about. I think it should be pretty fun, but we'll see how it goes. This is what it looks like so far. But yeah, keep you updated. So I thought I would just add that it took me about two hours to get here from Berlin on the Flix train, and it cost 15 euros, I'm pretty sure. So it was pretty quick getting here. I was just trying to sleep the whole time because I didn't get much sleep last night. But now we are trying to find the HVV bus service to get to the main harbour slash mini world. Oh. This is the vibe right now. And I have a Berlin um, like ticket pass thing usually but here it doesn't work so I had to get a 7 euro 90 day pass for Hamburg I think it's just for the day is my ticket just for the day or just for one day 7 euros I think it's 20 euros per person, but everything's all booked out. There's an hour and a half waiting time, so we're gonna check it out at the front desk. The whole place was booked out for the most of the day, but we managed to snag a spot at 6:45. She said a thousand people go in at one time, so it's be pretty intense for this hour. It is, but yeah. All so we've just stumbled upon this hidden gem. <laughs> it's not really very hidden, but it is quite beautiful, if I do say so myself. And then, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with this building, but yeah. How did it end up like that is my question. Why are all the walls gone? Interesting, but anyway, back to the beautiful building. <laughs> No, I like the dog. And this is us. Chilling. Walking around. I'm pretty hungry. Like, it's called the dog. I don't know if we're gonna get food yeah, soon, but. I really like this one. And, uh. So it turns out the hidden gem wasn't actually a hidden gem, it's actually a tourist attraction. So we just paid 6 euros each and we're going to go up this elevator. And then make it to the top of the tower and see what's going on up there. Should be fun. <laughs> ticket that we used to get up that castle thing as well. Castle? What is it? The burnt down castle. We can also come to this museum, 
Yeah. Put jackets away mm -hmm. and explore. Okay, so we've done a tour of the museum now. It was pretty interesting actually, I really liked it. <laughs> There's a lot of information, but I thought it'd be fun to recall a few things that we've learned. So I'm going to ask everyone one fact about the museum so you guys can learn a little bit too. My fact about this museum is that when it was first built, it was the tallest building in Europe for a little while. I feel like I've read so much I can't even think of one individual thing, but I could go to Jeremy now. 70% of Hamburg was burnt. Yeah, I was gonna say something like that. Did you watch that video over there about the fires of it? You should. It was like literally showing you pictures of like the corpses and this, that, and the other, and saying like they're walking through the streets, like walking into the bones and bodies. Oh. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was saying that the, the people that were like in the planes dropping the bombs didn't really think that much about like what they were actually doing. They didn't like really process the consequences because they had so much going on too. Like they were just shit scared of dying as well and all this stuff going on so that they would just like, they didn't realize the destruction they caused until they'd see like photos in the paper or like see the aftermath after. Cause like, yeah. And also Hamburg like blacked out. They had to turn off all the lights every evening. So it'd be like harder to see for the people bombing. And yeah, I think I just showed over there where the, the foil was, they had radars to show the, to try and figure out where the planes were to try and like shoot them down but the planes would be dropping like foil from the sky so that all the radars would just get like de scrambled and like it wouldn't be any accurate anymore so that really messed up the defense they were they were fully yeah they became pretty much invisible the aircrafts so it was pretty much just like blind shooting up to the sky so it was kind of an unfair battle but yes that's my take on the museum it definitely oh, would and how, oh, and how they just took us <laughs> Like the Jews didn't went allowed into the jars, into the shelters. Yeah, all the Germans were just allowed to go to the shelters, and all the Jews had to just fend for themselves in their houses. Did and you most of them, the board game, had a yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, just like, trying like, to normalize, normalize. Yeah. Hide, yeah. yeah, play the board yeah. game, pretend to be normal. hiding from bombs again. The whole band. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, definitely would recommend. Zank Nikolai, Manmar. Yeah, if you're in Hamburg, definitely would recommend come checking it out. Seeing, seeing a bit of history from what happened here, because as we've seen, I guess Hamburg will never be the same as it used to be. But yeah. So we've made it to the harbour finally. I was just going to show you, this is the bridge that used to be completely covered in locks. There's a few of these in Europe, but it used to be completely covered in locks and I had to take all the locks off because it was weighing down the bridge too much and there was little risk of it falling down. So that's fun. It is not the most perfect day, but this is what it looks like. Last time we were here, we did a boat tour. Let me get a video. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're in the tunnel. We are going to the tunnel that was used for. I don't know. Bringing shit to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> what tunnels do? Just bring shit to the other side. Apparently, it's quite quite the experience, so we're gonna go check it out. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. 
fucking crazy and you can have a problem with these fucking crazy. It's easy to go to Get out of the way, Tanya, you're my friend. <laughs> Fuck your followers. We're all a bit wet at the moment. But we are waiting. Oh, you can feel the duck moving. We are waiting for the boat that is apparently coming from here. But yeah. <laughs> Should be good. The weather's a bit. How are you going? But this is the dock. after it's like yeah, smashed into us. Let's go and Yeah. Stop not raining. <laughs> okay we've made it to the hotel now so that's good i have seven minutes to get ready because we're leaving at six and then we're off to the mi mini world and then to the barn and to the concert and then yes we have a big day big night ahead and we've had a big day <laughs> i woke up at six this morning i'm running on four hours sleep but that's what it's all about and we're ready. It is 6.06, so did not achieve it fast enough, but I don't know, you can't really see the outfit. But let's go. Can you get papers, brother? Yeah, they'll be in. Okay, so we just finished at Mini World, and I must say... Best I'm... experience of my entire <laughs> life. Go immediately. Book your flight. Quit your job. <laughs> One of the don't travel the world, just visit Mi Mini World. You don't need to go around the world when you can visit yeah. this place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I bothered even going to Berlin before. I just yeah, seen literally. I've seen all the years you of history. Everything. Yeah, yeah, you didn't even need to go. We should have just come here. Well, just look at that but yeah, I would definitely recommend coming. Um, it was a really good experience. Super interesting. This is not, that's where they turn to the details. <laughs> this is where, yeah. And, so what's the plan? We're going to Speedy, we walk to the train station, we get off of the park, we just want to do that, and then <laughs> go to the skin on skin. Fuck yeah. You know, nice run down from Flora that. Park, the perfect place to be <laughs> on a cold, blistering night in Hamburg. It's 12 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Can't wait for the pleasant Where else stroll. did you want to be? Get the fresh oxygen in your lungs before you enjoy <laughs> a pleasant concert at a nice, pleasant volume. So, what's this? What's the Spadi uh, drink of choice? The Speedy beer of choice is the cheapest beer you can get for a year. <laughs> then you, beer you drink that beer and then you buy another one. So you buy wow. two in total. At some point you buy a vodka. At some point you do what we did earlier and you buy a bottle of vodka with soft drink and you scull it outside the shpeedy. <laughs> before you leave you pick up another bottle of beer. Sounds like fun. Wow. 
<laughs> I don't know if I'm excited or scared. <laughs> but either way, you it sounds like fun. Why do you follow me? <laughs> you These people the are crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm not a part of this. Like, wow, what this is. Are you serious? PhD. You're gonna do. You're wow, gonna do you guys this? are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> She's handing us the money underneath the camera, guys. <laughs> not true. Don't listen to them, guys. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> We're in the line for the We've club. The How long? Yeah, keep the start. spirits going, guys. <laughs> Only gonna keep going till 7 a.m. That's Minimum. Fine. We thought that the artist we we're here to see was playing at 1.30, but... But it would be, it would have been shit if we got Turns here. Out. <laughs> Turns out it's at 4 a.m. So we're good. We're we good on time. time. It is currently... Show them the building. Oh, it's too dark. I don't think they'll be able to see anything. I'm sorry guys, I'll show you if you can see. But yes, we're just in the line. We're probably been waiting in the line for 15, 20... Oh, I don't know, I'm so... 20 minutes or so. But anyway. <laughs> so bad. This will probably be my last update for the night. Waiting in the line, going to the club. I'll let you know how it is. So what's happened, Kieran? Let us know. Well, we just waited. One hour! Three hours! <laughs> Three hours. Three. Okay, one hour in a line. And now we're gonna walk to the top of this 700 meter tall club to get the night started. That's what's happening. <laughs> trip it is 6 p.m. and we just made it out the house the boys have been awake for a bit longer than me but last night was a really fun night I had a great time <laughs> understatement <laughs> essentially a great night yeah speed on skins was awesome the club was really fun and would recommend seeing him now we're just gonna go get some ramen and I don't know if we have much more planned I'm going out again Oh. Yeah, ready, Daniel. <laughs> follow Skin on Skins again. Uh, party don't we're, stop. We're what, going to Ireland. What's it called? A groupie when you just follow an artist? Yeah. That's bad, yeah. yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Techno party tonight. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Peace out. <laughs> okay, so I know that I didn't really film the whole entire trip, but. I filmed a lot on the first day. The second day, we woke up pretty late and just went out for dinner and just had a beer at a bar and then just came home. And today is kind of just like a family day. We're gonna go visit my auntie. We're gonna go visit my auntie first and then we're gonna go see my uncle for lunch. And then we're gonna be heading on the train back to Berlin tonight. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish off the vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and Catch you later. Next halt, keep it small. <laughs> we are now on the other side of the lake where you can see all five of the churches. I'm struggling a bit. We still have an hour and a half until our train, so we'll see how we go. <laughs>